What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick tech haul for you guys. Show you what I've recently got for Baby Ray. Um, but before that I'm going to give you guys an update. Um, Baby has had the past two weeks off because I had to go get my saddle repaired. Um, the bottom like sheep wool stuff was like it had a huge chunk missing out of it and it was just falling apart and was super gross um so that got repaired um the stirrup had to get repaired and part of the seat had to get repaired so now that i have my saddle back we can start riding again um but since I've had it back, like, she's been a little bit rusty, which is normal. I mean, she's had the past two weeks off. Um, so we were working on just walk-to-trot transitions and guiding around the arena. And she's just, like, super clumsy when she trots or canters because she has, like, no idea where her legs are. And so, like, she'll trip over her legs. Um, and I think it's just because she's still learning all of that and just, yeah. So, she's clumsy. Um, so, anyways, getting into the tack haul. Um, I've had such a hard time trying to find halters that fit this mare, like, she has such a small head and the halters that I had made her are super big for her. So I went and bought one of those like normal halters with the buckle on it. And so at first I bought her a yearling size because I didn't know what size of head she had. Um, and so I bought her the yearling size, tried it on her, it was too small. Or it like fit on like the last hole and I didn't like that. So I bought an, I took that one back and bought an average size and the average size fits her on the last hole available. And even then it's still kind of loose on her. So I've been recently trying to figure out what halters fit her. And one of the halters that we had lying around the barn was a double diamond halter and um, so I went and bought her a newer one, and this is the Double Diamond Halter. And for those of you guys who have had these kinds of halters before by Double Diamond, they usually have like a metal piece right on the end where it ties. Um, and I don't really like that design with the metal piece because that could like fly up into their eye or somehow clank them in the head if they were running. But I was pretty happy with um, this design that this halter specifically had. It's just tied and burnt on the end. And this is the only halter that fits her right now. So I bought it in the color brown because I want her to wear the halter along with her bridle as we ride. So she has a weaver one-eared working halt, working bridle. And so this brown color matched perfectly. So she's gonna be wearing this while we ride along with her bridle. Um, and now she has a halter that fits her. The next thing that I got her are these super cute um, sparkly bell boots. Um, this isn't necessarily my favorite style of bell boot um, because it has this plastic, um, what would you call it, like plastic finish over the sparkly. And my favorite style of bell boot is with the actual fabric on it because once this plastic like gets into any contact with water or mud, that plastic finish actually breaks down and it starts to fall apart. Um, so I bought them even though they're not my favorite. So they're just going to be bell boots that um, she can wear on a nice dry day 
if I'm just wanting to dress her up a little bit and have fun. Um, it's been raining for the past like month in the evening so the arena and the round pin have been pretty muddy so I haven't even tried those on her yet just because it's been super muddy so like I said I'll wait for a nice dry day where there's no mud um, but I bought those sparkly bell boots to match some polo wraps that I have made for her um, I really like that iridescent unicorn color um let's see if the camera can pick it up focus um but that's basically what the style is and i really like mint green and we don't really have a lot of mint colored tack so um to incorporate pink i bought the pink sparkly bell boots to kind of match with this iridescent ribbon and the mint kind of brings out those sparkles in the bell boots so that was really it was it, they're really pretty um but like I said I haven't even tried them on her yet um just because it's been pretty muddy and gross um but she wears a size medium in bell boots and when I first got her I thought that she was going to be a size small because she has pretty small hoofs like smaller than any like normal quarter horse it is probably because she is still a filly and she's growing in to her legs and um but most like tack stores that i've been to don't sell size small in certain items like bell boots um you pretty much have to go online and and order them off um their websites but I'm pretty glad that she wears a size medium just so I don't have to wait longer for them to get to my house and I don't have to pay extra for shipping and handling. Um, my gelding was a size large and so none of his stuff fits her because he was a 1200 pound tank of a horse and she is not a tank of a horse. She. I just recently weighed her. She weighs 900 pounds and she's 15 two hands. And I knew she was going to be a 15 hand horse just because she had really long legs. Um, but I didn't think she was already past 15 hands. When I first got her, like she had really long legs and this weird short baby body with this little head. and. I thought that maybe she had a baby doll head that some like breeders um, tried to get on quarter horses. And I don't really like that baby doll head look. I like the pure quarter horse normal look. Um, but she's grown into her head. Her head's grown. Her legs, um, I don't think they've gotten any longer, but they probably have. But her body has gotten so much bigger than what she used to be and she's grown into her legs like she had no muscle like no fat like her ribs are hanging out her like hip bones are hanging out like you could definitely tell that this horse needed weight put on and it was basically because she was a rescue horse and as a foal she was kept in this stall and was only being fed a scoop of pellets once a day. And for those of you who know horses and have owned horses, horses eat all day long if they're able to. Like if they're out on pasture, they're pretty much eating all day long. That's just how their body is and how their system works. Like they just eat all day long. And so she didn't really get to blossom like most colts do. Um, so she definitely looked really interesting when I bought her, <laughs> but she since then has gained weight and gained muscle and has a booty on her and has shoulder muscles and her mane and her tail are so beautiful compared to what they used to look like. Like this horse just really needed a chance to just blossom and that's what she's been doing. Um, so. 
rambling on about that she is a normal like size medium for quarter horse which i'm glad like i said because most places just carry medium to large um those are the only things that i bought recently for her and i really like these tack haul videos i like seeing other tack haul videos on youtube and seeing what other equestrian people have bought for their horses and i like showing you guys what i buy for my horses and things that I use um, or that work for me for my horse. Um, I know I've said like my gelding or my gelding's tack in this video and in past videos, um, but I just kind of want to clear the air. I don't have my gelding anymore. He got put down in January. We took a pretty bad fall um, causing me to get rushed to the ER and so that night they decided to put him down because he broke his leg but they didn't call me before they did it they just made the decision oh he broke his leg a horse isn't good with three legs we're gonna put him down um sorry my dog is like licking her leg so I haven't really made a video or about my gelding being put down because I'm still pretty upset and salty about that whole situation because one they put him down without calling me and two they thought that it was my fault that he got hurt basically they told me to get my stuff and leave and so I don't board at that barn anymore because of that situation and so it's it was quite the experience, like, being told, like, oh, we had to put your horse down, sorry, get your stuff and leave. Like, it, I'm very salty about it, and, um, I wish that didn't happen, and it's something that I couldn't change, it, like, it's, uh, it's in the past, like, I can't change what happened, and so, um, being that I didn't make a video to let you guys know what had actually happened. Like, I do still have all of his tack. I just don't have him because of the unfortunate situation that happened. Um, and that's why I got Baby. And I tried not to make a, like, emotional impulse purchase. Even though that's what it was. It was, like, filling the void of my heart. Because Mr. T was such an awesome horse, like, he was a been there, done that kind of a horse. Like, he took care of me. We were always in sync when we would ride. Like, he was an awesome horse. He helped me gain confidence. He helped me gain experience. And it just sucks that I had to put down, or that awesome horse had to be put down, or any horse has to be put down. Like, it just sucks. And baby... She is an awesome horse, and I'm really thankful that I have her. Um, she's not marish at all. Like, she doesn't really have an attitude. The only attitude that she's had recently is, like, she doesn't like to put the bridle on. And I don't know why. Like, when we introduced it, we did it the correct way, didn't clank it in her mouth, was super gentle. She, you know, understood. And just, like, recently, she started to, like throw her head around so that I can't put the bridle on. Even though when the bridle gets put on her, she's perfectly fine. Like, I don't, she's just having an attitude and she doesn't want to work because she knows that that's associated with having to work. And I don't know, she's fine. But she's very easygoing. She's super sweet. She's never offered to buck or rear or bite me or kick me. Um, she's willing to please. She's always looking for the correct answer. Like, she's just a really awesome horse, and I'm really thankful that she came into my life. Um, Mr. T always threatened to bite me and kick me and always test me, and I think that's kind of what I liked about him, um, because he was just a real sass. But yeah, that's my story about my gelding not being here anymore and how I found baby ray but 
definitely leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment below so and letting me know what you guys want to see in future videos. But thanks for watching and stay tuned.